Welcome to the true story behind 2KCW. Squared Circle Wrestling, or better known as 2CW, was an independent wrestling promotion based out of Syracuse, New York. Though it may not have been as big of a player as the other independent pro promotions, such as PWG, Ring of Honor, or CZW, 2CW was still a thriving promotion that was a common ground for many who stepped between the ropes of a 2CW ring. The promotion ran from 2006 to 2015, with a reunion show planned in the June of 2021, originally scheduled for December 2020 until the COVID-19 pandemic happened. 2CW was at the forefront of bringing professional wrestling to upstate New York, upstate and central New York. Based out of Syracuse, 2CW ran several shows on a small circuit of cities including Ithaca, Binghamton, Rochester, and Watertown, New York. 2CW utilized local talent and national stars to fill out their roster. Many would become big names later in their careers like Kevin Steen, Sammy Callahan, Rich Swan, Pack, Brian Danielson, Claudio Castanoli, A.R. Fox, and of course Brody Lee. Tag Team Wrestling were a big part of the 2CW roster as well with names including The Wolves, Eddie Edwards and Davey Richards, The Briscoe Brothers, and two future members of the Dark Order in Evil Uno and Stu Grayson. Though 2CW never had a women's championship, they still held one night women's only tournaments. The roster included Mercedes Martinez, Candice LeRae, Mia Yim, Jessica Havoc, and Cherry Bomb, who would later become known as The Bunny and Alley. 2CW were able to sign big names to appear in their shows as well, including the Dudley Boys, Nikki James, Rob Van Dam, Rhino, Tommy Dreamer, Matt Hardy, and members of the Bullet Club in AJ Styles, the Young Bucks, and two appearances by Kenny Omega. On a personal note, 2CW holds a special place for me. My first ever show, my first ever wrestling show was a 2CW event in which Ted DiBiase appeared as a special attraction. I talked about this show more in depth on my my wrestling first video, which you can watch here. For reasons still unknown to me, 2CW closed its doors in 2015, having their final show on December 20th, 2015. I had made 2CW arenas in 2K19 and 20, just as a tribute to the promotion that I love dearly. I never intended to make a series out of it. I was inspired to bring back my old 2K series, Reign of Chaos Wrestling, by my friend and fellow creator GA Sport, which you should also check out his channel, seeing as our promotions run in the same universe. Relaunched RCW, I was again inspired by Sport to do a show like this when he started the GAW Academy Showcase. I changed the name to 2KCW to avoid confusion on social media, knowing that they are planning a reunion show this year, and of course it's just a play on words seeing it's WWE 2K. That is the story behind 2KCW. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm glad I am able to showcase for you what 2CW means to me, as well as many others who love and miss 2CW to this day. Being able to share the history of this promotion and what it means to me is humbling. What it boils down to is that this project is going to be a labor of love, being able to do 2KCW, um, again, just as a promotion, uh, tribute to the promotion that holds a special place for me. So I hope you all enjoyed this little bit of background for 2CW and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on it and to make sure you don't miss a single episode of 2KCW, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification button, and as always, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.